at first glance, this looks like just another dilapidated archaic structure in a rural community. But a closer look reveals something much more. The Jamaican flag blows in the wind on the compound. A peek through bushes reveals the familiar blue and white sign signaling that this is a police station. The Shady Grove Police Station has been serving the Loida's Vale community for decades. The several years of service have taken a toll on the station's infrastructure. The crumbling board walls and a roof with holes expose the officers to the elements, both criminal and natural. Residents in the rural St. Catherine community are concerned about the fact that their police station is falling apart. I can say this station is probably one of the rural stations in Jamaica. Now we are concerned about the police. We are concerned about the police levity. And as you can clearly see on the station, this levity is not good. You understand? We're concerned about the police. As I said, police are some of the child. I was born in Lloydersville. And from I was born, that police station went there. It need everything for security reason. And as gone to the government, there's no money to do these things. The police station is also without a functioning service vehicle as the only one they have is stuck at the station. They have got a jeep for the last nine months, as you can see on the back there, where um, they got one that, when they, before they, when they got it, it was near reach. I used to call it near reach. And now presently they have got no jeep. This little Shady Grove police station is a big area that they need to trans. And it's become a big problem for the police to um, quarrel and deal with the crime in this area. Because after they have got no jeep to, after the time when people come to the station, they can't move to different areas to do the duty, such as having a jeep to move. I remember once we have a little robbery in Pennington District called this police station. It's responsible for Pennington and Lloyd's Vale. And we call them and then the station was working. So we had to call a police cell phone. And then when we finally get to the police, they don't have a vehicle over there. They had to take taxi to come to, to look for the robbers. So that's impossible. The residents say the community is a relatively peaceful one, but they're fearful that criminals may take advantage of the police's inability to effectively do their jobs. Yeah, man, we want a new station out there for me, born and grow, me come and consider the station there, you know. I, I, some, I, me, me there a long time, man. What are you talking about? Me there a long time. Anyway, we want a new station out there, sister. Yes, and we want the front light to black up and look good and paint up nice. Right? I make the people then get one nice station. Welcome to play with them over there. Right, sir? Community members say they've tried to help. They're starting a police youth club, with one of its objectives being to contribute to the rehabilitation of the station. Meanwhile, the police officers at the station would not speak to the Rural Connection team, pointing out that they weren't authorized to comment on the issue. However, efforts to get an official response from those authorized were unsuccessful. The National Security Ministry, which is in charge of police stations across the country, did not respond to an interview request. However, Rural Connection has learned that there are plans in place to build a new police station in Luida's Vale. We were told that the drawings were already done, and the ministry is waiting on a surveyor's report to submit the plans to the St. Catherine Parish Council for approval. It was also noted that the dilapidated building which now houses the Shady Grove Police Station will be preserved because of its historic value. Until then though, the police officers and the people of Luida's Vale will have to make do with what they have. Reporting for Live at 7, I'm Keneal Gale.